Even zeer. Uh, you see the sound is gone as soon as I come the sound is gone but usually they make sure that the sound will be also on when I leave so that you go with this sound in your head basically and that one is used I went through the wrong uh, exit I will do something else today I have to really record some other stuff too and from the Kirka Pharmaceutical uh, they are releasing exactly the same kind of sound. The psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated to me, this is where you're going to go. Huh? And he was asking me, what is over there? What is over there on the other side? And so on. Uh, I am going through here because of something else today. Today I'm going to do a little MK Ultra here at this home for elderly people. Today, I will demonstrate to you how it all started here at the Home for Elderly People with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. I was brought inside in here. This is like a main entrance lobby here. Through the door over there, they would bring me and they would take me up there. And I will not forget, basically, when. When we would be coming here first in 95, and I was here already in 93, uh, probably in 93, I would say, yeah. Uh, they did not have, these are oxygen bombs here, you know? They didn't have any. They only had maybe one, maybe two. Um, they were maybe, I have no idea what went on very expensive or whatever so the first thing the first thing that home for elderly people got through this case and it started sometimes like in 1997 uh they got this here co2 otherwise this was like a luxury uh, i don't know but uh, when Americans heard about, uh, they didn't have this. Uh, it was like, of course, of course, and I don't know how then, what happened. Entire Kirka Pharmaceutical survived on this case, on, on my case. Entire Kirka Pharmaceutical. Uh, director of the Kirka Pharmaceutical told me when I was like nine years old, he told me, you're indispensable. You are not possible in respect to MK Ultra. We talked about MK Ultra as a child as I was, and I had director and his assistants and so on. We cannot stop because we need you in this MK Ultra case, we need this MK Ultra case. Basically, entire factory needs this. It was depending on this case. It was technologies they got, things they got. They got things that otherwise they wouldn't get. This is actually how Kirka Pharmaceutical exists. They admitted me on many occasions. So, the first thing when we would come here over the course of the years, would be a cop, a psychiatrist cop, who would say to me, stop here to the police that would bring me here. And he was asking about this stuff here. But they translated what you see here into something completely different. Beginning the 1993, this is what you're going to live with, this here. 
this you're going to need what is this oxygen so what you're gonna we need more of this oxygen here this things because we're going to get him here and his life is going to be dependent on so the police harassed whenever i was brought here it would stop me here like a like in a prisoner like in a movie with a prisoner like i would be shackled basically that's exactly the best description i can give and he would start to harass me and sometimes it would be a physical confrontation here that will follow because the police officers were very aggressive they would attack me it wouldn't be only about this is how you're going to live you're going to this is the only way for you to survive but they would literally assault me here yeah. Yanko who pushed me against the wall uh Yanko who put the leg like this behind mine uh, so that I would, I would fall backwards on the head. Uh, stated there are cameras here uh, and that's where he picked the other day a meeting here with me. He did this on multitude of occasions here.